Pretty hell then. Let me guess. She would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature without hesitation. But your speculation is also conceivable. If we can't get across it, maybe we can go around it. Looking for cracks, caves, or crevices, people? I feel like I've heard you say that before, but in a different context. Rocket, do we have a frostbite kit on the Milano? Worried about Quill misfiring his new toy? You must be the first time. Are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Groot still has a knot hole where Quill shot him. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh. Anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Not talking. <gasps> not even breathing. You know, you guys should take my ideas more seriously. I do have augmented intelligence. What is 55,787,880 divided by 9,512? Yep, definitely something gross behind here. I wonder if there's a common monster hunter uniform. Like, are they organized, or maybe even just a style? They would adorn themselves with the fangs and teeth of their prey. Yeah, I'm not pulling that off. Although I do like skulls. Their garments would be full of holes, shredded by the beasts that they hunt. Quill has that one covered already. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. <gasps> that is disturbingly fragrant. After you. Oh, it smells like that time Drew threw up. I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh. Because it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. We go into that fortress with our with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you You're whispering? Don't pet the tentacle thing. Two more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. The only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed.
And now all these monsters. I hate this flirting planet! You- Hate everything. 
everything, Rocket. True. But especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. We do smell exceptionally foul. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. So who's next in line for the throne if Lady Hellbender has an accident? Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. I can't believe you just said that with a straight face. Oh, Sucknarf ain't never heard of roads. You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. Seknoff 9 is a sanctuary. They say that if you leave behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally return it to you. Most unpleasant. That can't be true. Groot, you're up. I am Not him. Cleave-ho! Too far! Come on, Drax. No. Thing heavy quilt. Surprisingly light. If we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? Uh, no. It would compress anything inside to a mound of twitching gore. Oh, Groot. Groot says we should check things out over here. <clears throat> no, it ain't. What did the tree say? He says all this moisture is good for us and will make us grow. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. So, when are the rest of us gonna get jet boots? Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. For you, maybe. I love easy. Monster Queen. How much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, don't you? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, Quill. Better not forget what we talked about earlier. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady Eight? We're gonna fight a Monster Queen? It's gonna go fine, right, Groot? Whoa, that is definitely my yeah, top ten. Being Groot is exactly the problem. What the floor? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them. So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far. What if we'd been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? It would have taken... Let's just get this done. Okay. It's 
farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a fork in infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Oh, right. Cage. When have we even get the flark and things looking like we mean business? Group, you ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one that I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. The bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Pocket style if I got it. Drax. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa! A little bit close. Easy, big guy. Don't know what you heard, but we just want to bring you back a new friend. I know it can't understand me. But maybe it responds good to soothing tones. <sighs> Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we could sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is Please Stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.6 clicks. clicks. For the love of the block, stop counting clicks. We could enumerate all the ways to our flags, like like fair. Why, Ellie? Birthday boy? What are you doing for me? Star Lord. The guy with the scary eyes. You don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Worth hundreds of dollars someday. From the time I was young, I knew this game would come. Mama, she said, son, you'll always be on the road. Your daddy was a man, a man people wanted dead. Now that storm's coming for you, a price hanging on your head. If push oh, comes to you, so cool. we'll bring hell down from the Fast.
Give me a sec. I didn't think you'd actually come up. Maybe being on time is my new thing. Oh, right. We'll see about that when I have to get you up for school tomorrow. You know, I think I'm too old for that, too. Nice try, smart Alec. Sit. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. Them. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were... Sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago. And this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13. And I'm 13. Exactly. PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity. Like, butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No, of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. I should make you clean your room before you leave. Please don't. One day, I'll have to get down there and just throw everything out. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Huh. 
I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? At last! Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. Could really use a voice of reason here, Peter. Uh, Quill's asleep at the helm, which means I'm in charge, and we're doing my plan. The plan with the insect. It's not an actual bug, it's a tracker, so we can keep tabs on Groot after we sell it. Fine, but you're responsible yes, for sneaking the four of us back out. in tonight. Not a problem. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is, you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I am Groot. A talking tree. That's new. Alright, get going. Before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen one of those tapes. I have seen one tremble a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. No, I stand correct. Those ain't she. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chased across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell them. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug! What's the matter, Rocket? Getting cold feet? No! All right, Gamora, looks like you're up. Makes sense. What? Like Scott she is. Look, Rocket, let's compromise. We'll use your tracker, but we'll all go. Fine, whatever. The Galeran skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh, a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's... Surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach. 
approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humble, and my king's confidence is barely your empty. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not claim you are free. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would be con artist. I assure you, I said, Milady. release it. Got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And... Such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But, uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. She is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. 20,000 units. 20,000? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. 20,000 units is sufficient compensation. No. No! What do you mean, no? 
I mean, no. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Groot, he's the best monster you could buy. Hey there, hi, Star-Lord. Again, the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Trax was just messing with you. 10,000 units would be more than enough. The amount I demanded was not a mistake. Don't you think 10,000 is a more reasonable amount, Drax? I do not. <laughs> He's, he is just kidding. 10,000 units and we'll throw in a coupon. Enough! If I wished to hear Kerr's whine, I'd visit the feeding pens. Nine thousand units for the Flora Colossus destroyer. Nine thousand five hundred and thirty-seven for the cage. Deal. Storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. Sagnarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. They're heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. So my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, just a robber. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. Don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for Groot. And us. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work-hard, play-hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We compare in Scuddy father figures because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I will show you guys a real party. Ah, uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold tracks. That's not what I said. We're not pimps, Rocket. And the plan is going just fine, as is. Still, he could have strung her along a little. Gotten us closer to Groot or something. Do not use my sexual magnetism deceptively. Spoken like someone who's never dated. Not everyone has to trick someone into a date. That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me, this baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? Paid, stolen, such. I trust Rocket's doodad. Remember that time on Onsara? <laughs> I remember no such time. Before your days, muscles. Quill got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakaar. Why am I not surprised? Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. 
Just saying, have a little faith, Woolberry. My tech built them thumpers. It's gonna pop this door and find Groot. Now the Ravagers, there's a bunch that you had part. Am I good or am I good? Those are the same Okay, Tracker says... Ah, come on, you skaggy. I knew that thing was junk. Look, we saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Laddie does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's got to be a way of activating them from ground level. Drax, think you could lift this thing? Easily. What do you want me to do with it? Still working on that. If we can't find a switch, maybe we can get access to the circuitry itself. Signorfian night air is refreshing. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. It's possible. Maybe there's some stairs. So stairs. I mean stairs down to Groot. There's a perfectly good elevator. It's not perfectly good if we can't get it working. Then we better get it working. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. At once. Let's see what's hiding back there. Think you could have made more noise with that? Of course, but you did not ask. All right, I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Just follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. Uh, here? Done. Cool! It changed, I can see it! Doesn't take much to impress you. Switch this! Done. This one. Oh, here! Yep. Okay, here. And here. Got it. Switch the... Uh, here? We've got company! Is killing permitted now, Peter Quinn? Yes, now! Kill them now! Prepare yourself! I prefer confrontation to subterfuge! You don't strike me as a stealthy sword! This guy will be missed! What's a few heads been? Not ideal. Hey, no witnesses, no problem. Maybe Hellbender won't miss them. This one. Rocket, did that work? It's half powered, but I don't got enough juice to flip the circuit yet. There's got to be a second node. Okay. What the flark was that? Uh, just a little slip. No big deal. For all we know, you may have just reconfigured the entire fortress. Yeah. Probably just lower to hide a bed or something. There, keep it like that. I can get up to the throne now. You better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. See? Nailed it! That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Groot went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. Your voice does not convey certainty. I'm mostly sure. Huh? 
This is it. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. It has been considerably less than smooth. Okay, yeah, we had that one kink, but at least no one raised the alarm. That's what you call a kink? It'll be smooth sailing from here. What the piece of scut? Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Heads up, more guards. I would give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark! Shh. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You ain't sure a scut. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny padded feet. Imagine the headache these guys will have when they wake up. Let's just make sure we're not here when that happens. Rocket, wait for us! You do not wait. Thanks, Drax. What's with this place and no railings? It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. Oh, what the heck is that? It's my spirit animal. Strong. It looks like a rhino slept with a jellyfish. Definitely not a fan of whatever this is. This creature is grotesque. Yuck! Just... yuck! Seeing any breeding pairs. Maybe she keeps them separate. Lady Hellbender would not sully her collection with duplicates. You saw the war, though. This is no collection. She's a masculine army. No telling how many creatures she's tamed. Bro! Bro! Easy there, bud. I'll get you out in a flash. Whoa! Hey! Let's not turn him into kindling. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. It's too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two... Oh, that dashed witch stripped you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but uh, that's what we Good to have you back, Root. Now all we need is an exit. Um, I guess Groot knows the way. Hey, wait up, bud. What's going on? Say something. You okay, Groot? Shut it, Quill. What did I do? You're the one who insisted on this stupid plan. Now that freaking monster queen is... I don't know. Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. Hey, come on. Talk to me, bud. What did that Badoon Flarka do to you? Oh, crap. Guardians of the galaxy. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. <laughs> Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Laura Colossus. You call him friend, yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. 
Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller! Feast upon them! Enough toy 
Yeah. 